there's a great possibility that you are in a very peaceful environment. The environment around you is peaceful, but the environment within you is not peaceful. Like you are in a serene place. Maybe you go out to the beach just by yourself and you're having a serene time. But your mind is clouded, your heart is clouded, the fears are still in, the doubts are still in, the shame, you're still feeling it, you're still feeling all the negative things that you've been struggling with, that you've been fighting. And in this short video, I want to talk about winning from within. The reality is that no matter how peaceful your environment is around you, outside of you, if the environment within you is not peaceful, you cannot win in life. You cannot live well. You cannot relate with your world well. You cannot relate with the people around you well. And at that point, you are not going to flow in life. Scripture says, guard your heart with all due diligence because the issues of life comes from your heart. What is the best way to guard your heart? You cannot do it by trying to not think because your mind and your brain was made to think. How do you control this area? How do you win? from within because clearly the battlefield is your mind like scripture says that we do not war after the flesh that the weapons of our warfare are not carnal but they are mighty through god to the breaking down of our imaginations and strongholds and these strongholds are built up in our minds i listened to someone talk about the touch in our brain and how they function and the person said that negative thoughts is like a dry tree that has withered it has dried up now whenever we have fears and all this doubt and all this shame, the thoughts that are negative and evil, they are like dry trees. There's no life in them. But when we think positive thoughts, optimistic thoughts, they are like lively trees that have leaves on it. They are not dried. And the reality of life is that when you are in a place that all that comes out from you is negative, in fact, you kind of seem to be addicted to the negative parts of you, that when you are triggered, you want to dwell there in that anger. You want to dwell there in that rage. You're somehow addicted to the rage because it makes you feel yourself. When you are there sitting down in a negative place, it makes you feel yourself better. It is a wrong place to be. You cannot win like that in life, in a relationship, with your relationship with God and other people. Now, Isaiah 26 verse 3 says, You will guard him and keep him in perfect and constant peace, whose mind both its inclination and its character is stayed on you because he commits himself to you, leans on you, and hopes confidently in you. This is a very powerful scripture. A scripture talks about the peace of God that passes all understanding. The peace that you can be in a place that the environment around you is not peaceful, but the environment within you is so peaceful. Like Jesus sleeping in the boat in the middle of the sea. That was the kind of peace that the environment around him could not affect the peace within him. It is the same thing that I was reasoning about the Ark of Noah, that God closed the door for them and then the water without could not penetrate the Ark within so that they were safe. All the world without were actually being destroyed, but they were in safety. And how was that possible? It is the peace of God. And the peace of God is all encompassing. It's called Shalom in the Hebrew, which means God's welfare, God's providence, God's provision, God's security, God's protection. Like it is all encompassing. The Shalom of God is what kept them, that the whole world were being destroyed and God shut them up in the ark so that the window was so high up that they could not peep through to see what was happening and the peace within them was not disrupted that they were guarded and protected and that is how god wants to protect us and to keep us so that we can win in life how do we win when our mind is guarded with his peace the peace of god is the greatest security for our mind and how do we get in contact with the peace of god it is when our mind is stayed on christ it is when our mind is fixed on christ if you are fearful how do you keep your mind fixed on christ he said do not let your heart be troubled neither be afraid trust in me like it is always about trusting god i may not understand everything but i'm going to trust god i may not get all the answers i want but i'm going to trust god because 
none of us is ever going to figure life out. And it thought came to me that I realized that we think that when people are successful that they have figured life out. But the reality is, no, they have not. Because you get to become successful does not mean you figured life out. Successful in the term as humans that we call it is maybe having some kind of money, having some kind of fame and recognition. That doesn't mean they have figured life out. Because if that is the truth, then many people would not take themselves out of the world by committing suicide. Many of them would not be depressed. Many of them would not be lacking of the human connection that they do not feel. Is it bad to have all those resources? No, it's not. We need all those resources to even be able to help people and live life. But that doesn't mean that they have figured life out. So how do we win through life? It is by having our mind stayed on God, stayed on Christ. Both the character of our mind and the inclination, which means the whole essence of our imagination all through should be stayed on God, on the purpose that God brought us here, on trusting God for every single thing that we get to do in life. And that is the beautiful part that we can get to and we know that my life is assured. I may not understand everything, but I have assurance. And Paul in Philippians chapter 4 said, And the peace of God which transcends all understanding will guard your hearts and your minds in Christ Jesus. And then verse 8 says, finally, brothers, whatever is true, whatever is noble, whatever is right, whatever is pure, whatever is lovely, whatever is admirable, if anything is excellent or praiseworthy, think about such things. Now, the reality is that all these characteristics mentioned in verse 8 is about the characteristics of you looking up to Christ because they are only found in Christ. What is true? It's found in Christ. He is the truth. Your mind might be telling you you are a failure. But what is true about you, you are not a failure. You are loved by God. You are the son and daughter of the living God. Based on whatever specific situation you've had to go through, your mind might be telling you all these negative things. Trying to pour out all the shame to you that you are a disgrace and all of that. But you are not. Whatever is true is not what your mind tells you. That is why you have to win from within. Going out to the beach and having a good time and having a serene environment and having a lovely house, a lovely home does not mean that you are winning. It does not mean that you have the peace. It does not mean that your heart is free. It does not mean that the load and the weight is taken away. And most of the time, we try to struggle to win physically, at least to alleviate ourselves to lose the weight that we're feeling inside. Maybe they were telling you I fail you and all of that. So you try to win outside to try to prove them wrong. But at the end of the day, there are a lot of people that try to win outside, but yet they are still struggling with what they struggled within, which means they need to win from within. Get the peace of God. That is the security. That is the basis because when you have the peace of God, you know that the peace of God comes from the God of peace who is with you. The God of peace who says to you, I love you. You are complete in Christ. You are not a failure. You are a success, literally and physically and in reality. You are not just a success in words. You are a success in life because you are associated with life. Christ himself is the life. So you staying on him, fixing your mind on him, being aligned with him, you are a success. Scriptures in Joshua chapter 1 verse 8, the Lord told Joshua, don't let this book of the Lord depart from thy mouth. Have in your heart meditating all day and night because in this would you have good success. So to have good success and to win truly in life is having your mind stayed on Christ so that he would bestow on you his perfect peace. Shalom, shalom. The overall, overwhelming, all-encompassing peace. That you want to talk about prosperity in your soul, in your body, and your spirit, and physically, He has it for you. Whatever kind of provision and welfare you need, it is the peace of God that brings this. And when you have peace in your heart, I can ascertain you that the tenor of your life would be so loving and so patterned according to the pattern of God's peace. And you will not really be bothered about 
the outside environment, the voices that are speaking about you, the people that may say one or two things about you because you know and you are certain of having the audience of one who is greater than all, the ultimate one. Thank you so much for watching today's video and I pray that God will help you win from within, that the peace of God will grow in your heart as you stay on Christ, as the love of God spreads in your heart such that you would win in every facet of life. In the name of Jesus, amen. I am Uwem. I wish that you subscribe to this channel. I wish that you have clicked the like button and you share this video to someone. Thank you and God bless you. Bye-bye.